to the Iditarod. From Castilla, he's 37 years old. And I have a clarification, he is not a veteran, he is a rookie to this race. He has run the Testamina and the Sheep Mountain 150 along with the Jinjin, the Klondike, and other Alaskan mid-distance races. His first go at the more than 1,000 mile race, the Iditarod. You know, you talk about sacrifices and stuff, I think one of the biggest unspoken heroes is often the spouse. You know, usually people in our marriage, their spouse really, really contribute to the effort. And uh, whether it's taking care of the kids or doing this or that, the winter months are just very focused on training and trying to be competitive for this race. And I know my dear Kathy has just been a wonderful support for me. And, the races that we've been in, and, uh, and they deserve a lot of credit too. Definitely a lot of work goes into preparing for this race. Countless hours getting ready to leave the starting line. Once again, bit number 44, getting ready to leave in about seven seconds. Stan Hoffman, I really like to see him do well. He's been very focused on trying to be competitive. He's positive. He's always upbeat. I don't think I've ever seen the guy not be smiling, even when things aren't going well. Um, you know, last year he lost his fever of mittens going down the Yukon yes. River. I talked to him after the race. He said, I've never been so cold in my entire life. He was afraid he was going to freeze his hands, and he just overcame that and kept on going. Sven Haltman, bit number 45. This is his fourth Iditarod. He finished 17th in last year's Iditarod. His goal this year is top 10. Yep, I think he can do it. I'm very, I'm very sure he can do it.